radio? <sighs> it could be worse, but we're not sure how. Good evening, gentle listeners. I am your host, Anna Broadbent, and you're listening to Radio Ugh. It is Valentine's Day. I am single, and I am totally okay with this. I am absolutely not pining over my ex-girlfriend, Joe, who refuses to speak to me, because I am an adult who handles things in a mature and sensible fashion. And if I keep telling myself that, it might make it true. Coming up this hour, we'll be having a chat with the owner of a fascinating local business. Little spoiler for you, this time of year is their busiest season. I don't choose the guests, I just interview them. Station management apparently has a sense of humour. Tonight I'll be playing whatever the hell I feel like, because it's my radio show and you can't do anything about it. Have I mentioned that it's Valentine's Day and I'm miserable? Completely miserable? Let's be honest folks, romance is fake and everyone who ever said they loved you is probably laughing at you behind your back for believing them. Am I projecting? I'm definitely projecting. If you're in a happy relationship, then good for you. Well done for not being a total failure when it comes to matters of the heart. Kicking off this Valentine's evening with a retro number from back in the day. You're listening to Radio Earth. Eat My Face, a song that could be a glimpse into my future where I'm not a dog person. I'm your host Anna Broadbent and it is still Valentine's Day, like I could escape it that easily. It's also my grandparents' wedding anniversary. Well, it would be my grandparents' wedding anniversary if granddad wasn't dead. Does it keep being your wedding anniversary once your spouse has died? Or does it just become a day that bums you out? These are the questions. Today would have been their 70th wedding anniversary, which just blows my mind. And Grandad only died like three years ago. So that means they were married for 67 years. 67 years, that's ridiculous. Never going to happen to me, obviously, even if Joe changed her mind and proposed, like, right now. I'm 35, and I really don't see myself living to 102, given the current state of the world and existence, and I can't get someone to put up with me for more than four years. 67 is just really pushing it. Let's keep the ball rolling with another jam for all you lovely listeners this Valentine's Day. Here at Radio Ugh. old and unaware of all our future plans You gave me a little box shaped just like a heart Full of air, New Zealand sweets And I thought it was odd We kissed under the swings And then I gave you 20 cents At the end of the school year You moved away Oh, my darling so young and full of life back then I'm not quite sure 
Darling. 